The plan for day two was to travel from Hollyhead to Dublin. There was a tiny bit of rain when we set out. But in general, we would have a look throughout the trip and throughout the day with weather. What I was not having a look with at this time was my motorbike key fob, which was still playing up. And for some reason I had some issues with the 360 camera recording. It was about a 20 minute journey from Lang Effley to Hollyhead Ferry Terminal. There was a tiny bit of rain, but not much. With the bike strapped down, we headed to this Denner Plus Lounge, which was a hit for us. A bit of a palaver getting off the ferry with the uh, roadworks as they're doing work around the port. I decided to avoid the toll roads to get to Joe Duffy's. That was a mistake. Put a wallet in for you. But to do that, we need to have the ownership of the bike and photo ID. Right. <laughs> so we, we, we can get it, but like. So, so how long would the battery last with every coach? It's a real start. Uh, so, uh, a 2032 good name battery should last a year. Yeah, but this issue, because it keeps telling totally me it's black. Yes, that could be an issue. The upshot was without the master key file they couldn't recode it and I would have to live with the issue by buying lots of batteries. Joe Duffy visit delay I had to change the route um, which meant the route to uh, Belfast was not the best route we stopped in this place here just for lunch um, which was fine because of the ongoing camera issues I didn't get much footage of our journey to Hamilton which is just outside of Belfast we avoided the majority of the rain We arrived safely at the Standing Stones Lodge in Hammerstown. Had some good views that overlooked Belfast. The rooms were nice and clean and the staff were friendly. <laughs> 